too busy thinking about my baby. And I ain't got time for nothing else. I was supposed to be a Motown background singer. It's I, I believe absolutely it. was supposed to sing I behind it. Stevie Wonder. Too busy thinking about Motown my up. Or baby. behind Bob Marley. Ain't got, One of those two. Ain't got time for nothing else. No, no. I'm telling you, I know. I know in my heart of hearts that I would have killed I it. I would have murdered it. It was a background just been singer. Such a just my doo are are just beyond. Now Bob Marley to sing in the with I the Iria, you had you. you you had to be really when they hit that um We don't need <laughs> just no more I would have struggle. My, I would have gotten myself ready for it. We don't need. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would have been ready for it. I would have just, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? I, oh, I would have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd have. Uh, my way to. You, you would have been back there. Mm-hmm. Bumblebee, 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 bumblebee. What? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. All right. I think. Clap it up. Clap it up. One time. Clap it up. One time. One time. Clap it up. One time. We got to clap it up. Clap it up. We got to clap it. All the old cheerleaders are like, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ready? Okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. Tracy Ellis Ross. And I'm Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Get it? Two single ladies. I'm living the <laughs> single, single, single <laughs> life. <laughs> all the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Hey, all, all the single, single ladies. ladies. <laughs> Put your hands up. Listen, y'all leave Jada alone. She didn't say she was single. She just single-ish. <laughs> she was acting like it. She was single-ish. All right. I'll take single-ish. Her husband like it. <laughs> her husband, her husband, husband like, husband like, like you being single-ish. single-ish. <laughs> it's I'm a lid for it. her pot. That is the... Come on Everybody now. got That's all the, this to listen, say about and, them. And too. we so upset about I them. I feel yep. so sorry yep. for Will. Will is like, um, I don't know why I'm a millionaire and I have the relationship I want. So I'm not... Thanks boop, boop. for the... I don't know why boop, you guys are feeling boop, sorry boop, for me. Boop, 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 this isn't boop, what you want. Boop, boop. Clearly, this is what I want. Because I'm a whole Hollywood millionaire. If he and wanted something it. else, he could have it. He's doubling down. <laughs> like not, I'm doubling down on Jada Biggest. He's like, I'm not going no. <laughs> That's my girl. Now. Get out of here. Hmm. Talk about May Man 50 Grand. <laughs> Y'all wow. She the one. Y'all wow. <laughs> and this is Add Joy. Where life plus joy equal satisfaction the the smiths got satisfaction this is what we need to understand keep having all these think pieces about them if you want we to just they have think, satisfaction i mean pretty soon it'll be like a gofundme account you know what i'm saying like for this millionaire who has what he wants who has <laughs> like why are we having discussions about somebody is who he has being held what he somewhere wants. against his will they keep posting that picture of how tired he looked at that's fine okay he laid Tired in that bed and that with joy. night <laughs> and spooned. <laughs> I want you to know. Woman. 
I want you to please got some things listen. touched and, and caressed. So, and you know, this is this we talked about this. This people are so like you know get just just mind your own little business mind because your business. you real stressed out about somebody who's Ooh, actually doing what brings no joy, them joy in minding somebody else's business. Yeah, and you're kind of minding you the business of somebody who is doing something that brings joy. And let's just focus on your joy. Let's just focus on what you. Shoot, I'm looking you for know my Will saying? Smith. Ah! He gonna let me be single ah! Shoot, ah! I get to come home to this palatial mansion. Every, oh God. Will, do you have <sighs> brothers in my age range? Like, I, or oh, not. Will. I just. <laughs> Listen, I'd be in there meeting Will's needs. You hear what uh, I'm saying? <laughs> needs what he you didn't want me to even do? know he had. What you, like? what you like? That is weird, but I'm going to do it back. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Mm-mm, don't call nobody else. I got you. I was online and I was scrolling and I saw, I just thought I could try it on you. Let's mm-hmm. see if you like okay. it. What time? Experimentation what like time? a mug. What do you, you like? Do, should I have like a pseudonym? Put a wig be, on? Like what's happening? Uh, what? Is the latex ready? Got, what, mm-hmm. what you? I'm I'm warming it because I know you didn't like it to be yeah. too cold come last on, time. Come on. So I just want to make sure. The wax know. is melted. Okay. All right. You better get out of here. <laughs> We'd be having big joy in there. <laughs> <laughs> big joy <laughs> would be happening. <laughs> and I feel like that is what's happening. We just put that on playing? them. They're just going through. What are they going through? And they just looking at just, just as pleased just and as happy, happy as they look at their kids smiling from ear to ear and successful and yeah. with their own also careers. Rich. Yeah, I'm trying with to their figure own out money. why we feeling so bad. Oh, okay. These rich people who are like, okay. no, we're happy. You're talking about us and making yourself miserable. Huh? Huh? And in fact, keep doing it because it actually makes us richer as a family. Thank you. you. See Shout that? out. Listen. Yeah. Yeah, salute. To the entire salute. Smith clan. Yeah, Geniuses. for real. Just come on. Get it. Get yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's not what that's we're talking that. about. Right, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> we've been shifting gears, right? So, oh, yeah. you know, we've been doing our 12 principles of joy. We are going to get back to them, but we are spending just some good time since we're about half through our principles talking about joy in general. So we like to start with definitions and we are starting with the notion of joy versus happiness. That's always a good one to distinguish because, um, you know, people are always wondering, does that mean just being happy all the time? What does it mean? Joy is an inner feeling of contentment. Happiness is an outer expression of elation. Mm -hmm. So joy transcends. Happiness reacts. That's so good. So good. That's so good. Joy is a deliberate practice and an intentional behavior. Happiness just comes and goes, Mm -hmm. right? Joy endures. Happiness itself really can't be maintained like joy can. A person pursues happiness, Mm -hmm. but a person just chooses joy. We got to chase it. Yeah, Ooh. you ain't got you ain't got to run down and exhaust Ooh. yourself. Joy is all around, and that's what we're teaching yes. in our podcast and in our business: how to access the joy that is just readily available. Yes. So last week we talked about adding joy to dating, right? And we got to thinking, and not everybody is dating. Not everybody wants to date. Not e- not everybody feels that that is natural next step, right? Mm-hmm. And so. We wanted to also talk about the people like me who are focusing on being alone, who actually are not out here actively seeking to date, but really enjoying the process of being a singleton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to first dispel some myths about being alone. Mm -hmm. The first is if I don't date, I'll be lonely. (laughs) You could be lonely in a relationship. I, I honestly, I've been the loneliest in relationships. I, I've never felt, I've never felt as lonely Ooh. by myself as I have. Um, That's a word. Having a whole man living in the house with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And, and feeling just so utterly by, by myself. myself. All by myself. Don't want to be, or maybe oh. should be, oh, okay. <laughs> embraced to be. Come on and be by myself some more. (laughs) Yes, another myth. Being alone is bad for you. Like what, am I breaking out into rash? (sighs) You know, I know that we understand that um, 
you should be in community. Mm -hmm. I don't think that anyone should just be isolated from everyone. But being single does not mean isolation. That's right. So how do you know, though, what you want if you don't spend time with you? (coughs) Yeah. Just you. Yeah. Not you in relation to others, just you. How do you act when no one's eyes are on you? Yeah. That's how you end up also just engaging in relationships that may not be for you because yeah. you're just you're focusing on just, just having looking somebody. to have yeah 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 like I, it's be, it's bad to be single so mm-hmm. let me just get somebody in here instead of let me get some joy in here mm-hmm. you know let's just get somebody um if you don't have a romantic relationship something is wrong with you now listen these interwebs will say that i mean if i see one mo post <laughs> If a man is 45 and he's never been married, what's wrong with him? Um, He's selective. He wants to be single. I mean, we can go on and on. If a woman is not in a relationship after she's, what's wrong with you? If you've been dating, I've seen people do that. I ain't dating nobody for more than two years. What's wrong with us? Are we enjoying where we are? I saw one that said, if you're single in October, you ugly. (laughs) Because cuffing season has begun. Happy, sweetest day to all of the Midwesterners out there. Still, none of this is true. (laughs) People think uh, you're uninteresting. You must be just dusty and and ashy. (laughs) And just you have nothing to bring to to the table, whatever the table is. If you are not in a romantic relationship, it's like your worth Mm. is is Mm -hmm. being assessed via your ability to... Mm -hmm. To maintain a romantic space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, look at these fine women out here that are that are single. These fine men that are out here. Tracy Ellis Ross. Jada Pinkett Smith, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all leave Jada alone. Um, and, <laughs> and then the, the last one. Being single will leave me without joy. Mm. Y'all, joy can go wherever you Wherever you, are, you dwell, you can have you're joy. you're arriving. Wherever you show up, fact, joy you better is be bringing there it. if you are working on having it. Can That's you it. imagine you, you you assigning all of your joy to this other person? Oh, my God, First of all, no. I don't want that. That sounds burdensome. It sounds like way too much for that person. I'm responsible for all of your joy. You mean to tell me if I need to go somewhere else, I die, and we break up? Go. All of your joy is gone? Because that's just too much of responsibility. I have to have. I'm in charge of all of mm-hmm. it. I don't even want my child to think no. that. Oh, girl, I ain't Mm-mm. here to do that for you. Mm-mm. I don't want Mm-mm. any one person to think that. Mm-mm. I want me to think that no, about me. No, me to think that about me. I carry my joy. All right. So today, that's what we're talking about. How do you add joy to mm-hmm. the process of being single? Single, single, single. single. My- <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we sometimes forget that being alone is a choice, too. <clears throat> We're not always alone just because I can't find nobody. I can't find yeah. anybody. I just I had a breakup. I no no no. I I'd like these things. Actually, chose to do this. Mm-hmm. Like this is just where I am in my life. Right. That's actively dating oneself is choosing you. I I think very few people do this dating oneself thing. Um, and that's why when they enter relationships, yeah. they come in with the expectations. We talked yeah, about yeah, this yeah. In, a, in a previous one. They, people come in with the expectations. You got to come in. It's, it's up to you to make me happy. You got to meet me with all of these things. You haven't dated you. You don't even know what you like. That's good. Yeah. You have heard online somewhere or had somebody yeah. else tell you, hey, yeah. you know, this should be happening. A woman should be doing this. And in your own mind, you're like, yeah, I don't know. If that's I don't know if I have to have that. I'm going to let my boys tell me. Right. You'll let your crew, you know what I'm saying, tell yeah. you, no, I mean, if he's not doing this. Come on, y'all. You haven't dated yourself. Everyone should have a season of solitude. Every mm-hmm. single person on mm-hmm. this earth that you chose. A that season of solitude. That you chose. Not so-and-so broke up with me, and here's just the small window of time where I hustle to find someone else to fill the gap. That is not a season of solitude. That is your little interim period of desperation. And I say I've tried it, and I know. Mm. You can't even focus on the things. The things that you discover when you choose a Mm -hmm. season of you, Mm -hmm. you can't even focus on while you're going through heartbreak. Get the healing of the heartbreak. Mm -hmm. That requires a season, too. (laughs) 
actively seek that healing and then also actively seek yourself. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. They're very different because if we're in a season of heartbreak or even a season of anticipation of the next relationship, we don't just (laughs) focus on the here and now, the present. That's my moment. Mm -hmm. And I don't get the practice of making joy by myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't get the practice of it. Be in practice of that so that when when inevitable conflicts, when things come and they arise with this other person, you still have something to tap into. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a toolbox that doesn't involve them, you're going to be in trouble. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. So we're going to talk about some ways that being single actually improves one's life, not to disparage relationships. We love them. Yep. If the Lord want to send down, I might be in one tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? She might be a, she might be in one tomorrow. <laughs> right. But we want to communicate because so much is communicated to mm-hmm. singles. Something's mm-hmm. wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Like you're broken and you're just going to just die alone after falling in the shower. Cause ain't nobody going to come and get you, <laughs> you know, just like a whole, you know, my word. <laughs> oh, people's that's, that's, that's really people's fear too. They're like, well, aren't what you if always I in the shower alone? I mean, Okay. Is that joke in the like he comes in the bathroom? <laughs> Is he just sitting on the toilet waiting that can for you to totally fall? Totally still happen to you, whether you live with somebody, <laughs> right? But there are some places really where it can be psychologically healthy, um, mm-hmm. you know, to to be in a period of solitude. What's the first one? Your life is uncluttered. Listen, every human being you add clutters it. Even again, every. One, we're not saying we're not hating on it. We have children, but but every child clutters. Them jokers clutter up your life. Every human being added Mm -hmm. to your life clutters your life. You can't argue it. Yes, you might love it, and so just just taking someone out, you know, enjoy the lack of clutter for a bit. It it allows you to think clearly for a second. Just a season. Mm -hmm. Just a season. I'm not saying forever. Not forever. Yeah. It also allows you to build resiliency and self-sufficiency. If you always have someone else there, you always have a net, you always have a crutch, somebody you always to, have another half, to you lean have, on. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you actually don't build that skill of mm-hmm. just like, when I'm, when I'm left to my own it's accord, just you. what are the decisions that I yeah. make? And if they're problematic, how would I, how would I ever fix yeah. them yeah, 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 if yeah, I yeah. don't know what to do? You know, I think it's important for people to even have a period of time like, Paying your bills by yeah. yourself and doing things like that. People who move from like mama's house into the marital household, never having just this bill comes for me and ain't nobody supposed to pay it but me. <laughs> I think you need a, a, a time like that in your life. And if the bill didn't get paid, it's no one me. to blame it on. But how me. do I fix it? Because yep. when you do get into a relationship, you got to pull on some of that knowledge then too. Right. If you never learn it, you never have your season of understanding what role you play as an individual. You're not going to be able to do one in community either. Correct. You have the time and bandwidth (coughs) to get in touch with yourself. And I mean, in all ways to get in touch. Ooh, there goes my shirt up over my head. (laughs) Um, I I wasn't going there initially, but hey, let's just... Whenever you lower your voice like this, we always know where you're going. You never lower your voice to talk about teddy bears and rainbows. You know that I'm going to my special place. Special place. That's a very real thing, though, right? Getting in touch with yourself Mm -hmm. and finding out what you like. A lot of y'all out there don't know. Mm, A lot of people. A that's lot not a of y'all. That's not, not at all. You can tell by your history, the spotted, speckled history. Your each person <laughs> is just kind of a a rebounded adaptation to the last person. So the last person was kind of like didn't have no job and whatever. Now the next person got money, but it's still you know cruel <laughs> or whatever it is. So you're when just, you, you know, when you're out here dating in response to mm-hmm, what you didn't to like, right? As opposed to, no, let me get a clear list of what I like. This is what I like. Mm -hmm. Without the idea of all the things that I disliked Mm -hmm. driving it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Because that's very different, y'all. I I could say I like a man with money just alone versus, oh, I don't like nobody to be broke. Two different things. Two different things. And 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 there's a there's a clarity that comes with that too because yep. you don't just a man with money. Mm-hmm. No, I want somebody who has ambition and who saves mm-hmm. and has the mm-hmm. foresight who's who can, you know, I mean, what did the money cover. represent? Yeah, it's more about I, what yeah, it I represents. Can talk about I want somebody it. wise yeah. with it. Mm-hmm. You don't want a fool with a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what I'm saying? Just blowing all bands in one night. I, I had money, but I spent it all last night. Um, okay. 
<laughs> right? But you really get the gift of clarity yes. when you are by yourself, mm -hmm. right? And why is it a gift? Because it helps you figure out these, these questions we ask, right? What yeah. do you really want in a relationship? Have you ever thought about that before yeah. you got into one? Mm -hmm. Or do you start contemplating it once you're already in once it? Once you already like somebody and you just like them. What I like about him is X, Y, and Z. So that's what I'm looking for. That, was that what you were looking before you, before you met him? And, and then, y'all, what we're doing in relationships is we're just reacting. Mm -hmm. We let things happen to ourselves and then we determine and we shift based mm -hmm. off of what we got into. I'm saying just sit still. Yeah, because then you, you've got to sit still long enough to know who you want to be in the relationship too. But, who am I going to show up as? I'm the kind of partner who, what, you know what I mean? Not just like, let me just get in here and just fill in whatever she wants. Eh. You know what I mean? Like what, what kind of partner do I want to be? Mm -hmm. And that then becomes how it, how, how you can guide yourself. You know, when she was just saying about, you don't want to be in that reaction stage, yeah. right? That's how you end up negotiating through your non-negotiables. <laughs> Cause you didn't even take time to know what your non-negotiables were. You know how when you leave a job, um, you have like an exit interview. Like, I wish we did that for relationships, too. I am leaving this relationship. I'm heading into this season of solitude. But I want to talk through some things so that now, as I sit by myself, I can figure out what my actual non-negotiables mm -hmm. are. We can't do that because we leave so damaged from the relationships so because damaged. we're so utterly offended by incompatibility. Uh, instead of just being like, okay, incompatibility. It, okay, it's like, you're not for me. It's like if I was trying uh -huh. to use her computer cord and it just doesn't fit in my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not angry at her computer. Mm -hmm. I'm not calling this cord all types of names. I'm not telling this cord. I get cord, up and go get the you right better, cord. You better, be the, you better fit in here because you're not fitting here is a problem. I, I just realized that I don't, that's just not the right cord for this computer. It's not charging my computer. And my computer's going to die if I keep on trying to ram this one into it. That, that's another thing, too. We're wasting time yep. not getting charged. Yep. Go find the cord. For your While cord. we trying to be angry at this cord yep. for not being the... But you, know, we, we, you need that time. You need that time to discover you that. Do. Don't let the first time someone does something be like, oh, my gosh, you're way over the boundary. And you didn't know what your boundaries were, so you never communicated them. So they was partying up over that little line. I ain't no. No, you know, you know the right thing to do. No, I, no. Obviously, I'm over here. You know not to go outside that fence. I am. Obviously, telling I you, hopped that fence, so I'm, I must not have known. We don't honor and respect the bad relationships enough uh, for teaching us our truths when we are in the season of solitude. It's like getting mad at your degree. All this work. All this work. You mad at your degree and it has prepared you. Every single one of them did. But you have to take the time to sit and debrief mm -hmm. with yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to really go through it and figure out, okay, well, I know I don't want to go back there. <laughs> These are the reasons I don't want to go back to something like that. Now let me think about, let me manifest the thing yeah. that I want. Yeah, let me be one If I that's, want. or let me manifest this singlehood mm -hmm. that I want. What do I want to accomplish in this season? Do all of that. So it could be your personal best case scenario. And that I'm going to be really vulnerable here. That, that scares me sometimes. Okay, say more. It's so delightful. <laughs> <laughs> the singlehood is so incredible. I am kind of like, this is the why word. would I, you know what I mean like it's yeah. it's so amazing mm -hmm. it's I have joy so it's mm -hmm. so sustained for so long mm -hmm. I wake up in such peace mm -hmm. and go to sleep mm -hmm. in it my worries my burdens have just been all Yikes. I, it's it's go, it's that, that's is the where part it's at, that scares me <laughs> I'm like would would I get mm -hmm. into another marriage mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like I'm because I'm so happy as is. Mm. And so it, it is it my person is it my best case scenario? And I think actually a couple of people are, are aware of this. Women probably especially are are probably in these places like, but what if what if this is top notch? Like what if this is my A plus and anything else, even though it might be a B, it's a B. Mm. <laughs> it's a B. I was living at the, I was living at A plus. Which also is to say, then take this season 
to recognize this feels like A. Mm -hmm. What is going to feel like A plus? Right. This feels like A. And how do I carry that? Now I know what A feels like. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. once I get into, you know, a marriage relationship, whatever it is, that this my A feeling. I'm looking for that A feeling. I may go from A to a C. And so Just once I got somebody on the so couch. so when I see it, let me not attach myself to that just because I've told myself that is the ultimate joy. Apparently mm -hmm. it's not. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's over here. I, I had it. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You get to build the you that you want to present. So, you know, people have had like, uh, Khloe Kardashian had that like revenge body and all stuff yeah. like that. I'm, I don't think you are doing it. I, I, well, you shouldn't be doing it as revenge. Because remember, you're not mm -hmm. a, a chosen period of solitude is not the same as like, I, you know, I just fell out of rest. And now I'm about to just get myself, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I do think it clears your path. It clears the way. So yeah. who do you want to be physically? Who do you want to be emotionally? Who do you want to be financially? This is why a lot of times you see people kind of skyrocket in their own personal goals yeah. when they're by themselves. Yeah. Because you get to build that you. You have time to, mm -hmm. you know, you'll build a bear. <laughs> If you've been to build, if you have kids, you've been to build a bear, and there's all of other kids in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not gonna be able to get that bear off the way. Imagine being by yourself in a build a bear. Mm -hmm. That thing would suck. build exactly, exactly who you want. What to you be. want? Weird science. Well, Isn't that weird I, science? So you build <laughs> making Mister Right. That's because I, I always, um, I, I love to ask this, um, this proverb: Would you marry you? Mm -hmm. And if you wouldn't. Why are you entering relationships hoping that eventually you're going to be the... <laughs> Do you know the number of people like, hell no. Hell no, I wouldn't marry. <laughs> this and that and this and other thing we got on my nerves. And this and that. I'm like... <laughs> mm -mm. Well, don't do that to somebody else. Okay. okay. Unless they did, you know, live or pop. Self-care becomes a priority. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. y'all. Mm -hmm. It deprioritizes whenever you just get. When I am in a relationship, add. I do not. I, me by myself, bubble baths every mm -hmm. night. Sleeping, going to bed. Turn off the light. Mm -hmm. Turn on the candles. I am laying here reading my book. I'm working out. I'm mm -hmm. eating better. The whole thing. The second that I entertain a man, all that falls to the wayside. Hot fries. I'm up all night. <laughs> <laughs> all of the things start to listen. Just, yeah. Listen, date weight is like a real thing. That's a real it's thing. It's a real absolutely. thing. You just, just get chubby. Just date, <laughs> you date, absolutely date folks. Do. You just yes. out in restaurants. Yes, I had a mozzarella sticks. That, that's the thing he's taking you out for dinner okay. every night and so you're eating mm -hmm. out every yeah. night yeah mm -hmm. all of that is happening absolutely so you know we've been talking about in in um enjoying your own own company and kind of would you marry you but really that that concept is really based in our principle of security and confidence mm -hmm. if you actively choose yourself what a what a confidence boost but also think of it conversely what a confidence drain and i don't even like me <laughs> I won't even choose me. You know what I mean? And, yes. and again, you're not you're not saying that con like kind of consciously. This is what the back of your mind is saying. You don't even like you. Mm -hmm. Your own company bothers you. Mm -hmm. So then you start to look out, look for partners out of desperation. Mm -hmm. Instead of being like, no, I think I'm ready for a relationship and I think I'm delivering a package that is going to be awesome to another human being. We're both going to grow. I, I will never forget years ago I had I, I was in this season fine and I had dated a guy and we just were not well matched in so many different ways. And I remember Baba <laughs> coming to my house and saying to me, <laughs> what made you date him? No shade to him, mm -hmm. but just what I made remember this you and know who he's talking about. <laughs> date him. And I, I said <laughs> I love you. And I, I said, you know, Baba, I'm not sure. And he said to me, I'm going, I'm going to drop this word, mm -hmm. and then I'm going, I'm just going to walk out, and I'm going to let you sit with this. He said it was desperation, mm -hmm. and I was like, Ooh, uh, no one wants to hear that. However, I'm telling you, <laughs> you don't do, you don't do the work to love you. You don't do the work to enjoy what you're presenting as. What you bring, 
I'm telling you, you will start. You will start picking any old thing. I mean, any old. It thing. has a heartbeat, <laughs> and occasionally <laughs> returns your text, and you'd be like, "This is it. I'm getting it." And you'll try to convince. But most importantly, it, not just others. You'll try to convince yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's that's how he shows love. Calling you every other Wednesday only. Hmm. Okay. Well. Unless you like that. The next thing, you could actually have a more satisfying sex life. I'm going to get low with it. I'm going to lay back. <laughs> I'm going I'm to get low with it. Um, so this is an actual yeah. quote from a psychology professor at the University of Toronto. Jeff yeah. McDonald said, those with higher sexual satisfaction tend to report less desire to marry and hold stronger beliefs that singletons mm-hmm. can be happy. Mm-hmm. In other words, if you are getting broke off, <laughs> being single don't you mean that you rush that into you this altar. Horny. Why come? <laughs> you you might be getting taken care of. In 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 varied exciting ways. And like not like beautiful <laughs> ways. Now, this, of course, <laughs> obviously we are saying that you can have a fantastic and yeah, exciting yeah. sex yeah. life in your marriage. I hope you are. Your marriage. Yes, I hope so. What are we doing there right. if we ain't? That's, so that's a whole, we gonna have a we, we going to have a whole, yeah. a whole episode, add yeah. joy to sex. We're going to mm-hmm. do it. That whole thing. <laughs> but, and, and, and resist the urge to engage in whataboutism here. Right, because we're we are just talking about singlehood, mm. right? So resist the urge to be like, but you can do this, but you can have it, but what about? Yes, but right now, what we talking about? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what we're talking about right now is that I absolutely, I absolutely agree, and and it really brings us to kind of a our, our final point about about how it can improve your life. You get a chance to heal, and and I think what happens is that people keep going; they're swinging from relationship tree to relationship tree like Tarzan. <laughs> oh. oh. Yelling just like that. <laughs> Making that exact noise because you're so traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> you just go on jungle hunt. Remember playing jungle hunt? Oh, I'm sorry. You just jump in from one thing to another. You don't ever give yourself the chance to be like, let me resolve this. You can just feel people's hurt. I, I don't like when people say it. I know people say it a lot, you know, and women, you know, are a little more guilty. Like, Who hurt you? You know I mean? I, I don't like people saying it because clearly somebody did. That's not, that's not funny. Somebody did hurt him. Look at him. Listen to the stuff he's saying. Hurt people, hurt people. About an entire gender. People. You are yeah. in pain, brother. Listen, whatever happened back there, yeah. I hate that that woman did that to you. Yeah. You out here trying to make every single woman pay. But whatever happened in your, please heal. Please heal. Please take this opportunity to get over that heart heartbreak. Please. Yeah. Please don't bring her heartbreak to your potential mates because yeah. of. It. Please don't continue to break your own heart. That's that's because real. it's not put together yet. Hold on, yeah. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> You fell off. It took all the king's horses and all <laughs> the king's men to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. You over here trying to get your next wall. <laughs> you better let these men put you back together. Uh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be put together, huh? <laughs> Before you get back up there. Yeah. yeah we just real. jumping right back in. You almost we drowned did. last time. <laughs> We just swim to the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we push off the side. You know, like when you're at the Olympics, Olympics, when they get to the end, they put, they go under and just push off. And then just be <laughs> under the water. <laughs> the whole thing is problematic. You jumped in on a gunshot. Uh, <laughs> you know, the whole thing. Pow! Uh, uh, <laughs> For a second, order a pina colada. <laughs> Read your book. Yeah, it's we'll gonna be plenty. Still. You think you're gonna miss something in that pool? 
I promise that you. That pool is stocked with fish. It, it never yes. running out. You always find out what you need. You find what you need in there. Relax. <laughs> you literally almost drown, and then you are back in it. <laughs> <laughs> Got your breath. <laughs> Still these CPR. You get to the end. <laughs> <laughs> You flipping other people's bolts over, <laughs> <laughs> trying to steal something from someone else, somebody else happy and kicking there. You can like, try to steal their kickboard. You want somebody so bad? That's her kickboard. <laughs> All reasons why you should <laughs> celebrate being single, huh? So we um, we asked out on the socials for some people to give us some <laughs> advice that you would give to the person who chooses to stay single in order for them to advance the joy in their lives, uh, right? Uh, <laughs> sing, 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 sing. <laughs> Life. <laughs> so we had Michelle say, comparison is the thief of joy. Fill your time doing the things that mm. bring you joy. Listen. Listen. That's because so because we'll sit in good. a season of singleness looking at them and like they look like they're having is, fun over there. You there you go going through like, other people's Facebook pictures, being in their weddings, wishing it was you. Listen, mind your business. Pay attention to your path. Find out what brings you joy. Find out what brings you joy. And I do, we said this in the very beginning. We were talked about how. Um, and, and, and Mari says this all the time. The universe is, is conspiring to, oh, to bring give you everything you, you want. What you want. Everything so you want. So if what you want, because I, I think ultimately, you don't just ultimately, I just want a relationship. You want to be happy, peaceful, and in a good space. That is what you want. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, be honest. Like, that's what you want. And so the universe is conspiring to give it to you. If it's in a relationship, you shall have it. Absolutely. You shall have it. What you, you And nobody out here trying to keep you from. No one. Mm -mm. No one. If it's meant for you to have it, you certainly shall. Absolutely. If that's the thing that's going to lead you to joy and happiness. But concentrate on just having the joy. I love that. All right. What's the next one? Do you. <laughs> <laughs> we can only answer for ourselves what brings us joy. Take pride in yourself and bring others up with you. This is from, this is one of the great loves of my life, Sochi. So she and I grew up together and she is one of the most peaceful mm -hmm. and serene. But that's that's real to you. Yeah. And I think that relationships is a really a, a big one where people just take in other people's information. You know, when I it's changed a lot. I, that's one thing I think I can shout out Generation Z for. They'd be like, yeah, nah, I'm not just doing whatever just because whatever. But I think in the past and, and certainly generations past and, and we were part of it, there was this idea of like, well, get married before this age. Just mm -hmm. ran, just randomly picking a number. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 29, you good. 30, all of a sudden you're a spinster. Like just at night, <laughs> like midnight, or do I have to wait to the time of birth? Like I was born at like nine something in the morning, like at 10 a.m. Do I turn into a spinster? <laughs> spinster? Like really think about that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like do you. Do the yeah. thing that brings you joy. If you want to travel this whole world, I'm not I'm trying to and get married until I'm 40 years old. And do it. Uh, and do it. Then do it. I'm not trying to get married until I do some other things. Or I do want to get married early. Whatever it is, don't let somebody else determine those standards and those boundaries for you. They're yours. Indeed. Monty said, you aren't ready to be with anyone until you're secure <laughs> in being with no one. Oh. These people out here giving a word. You aren't ready to be with a single a person single until you are at peace, sitting still right here by mm -hmm. yourself. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Can you imagine? I don't. In fact, don't apply here. If Ooh. you can't be by yourself, if you are like, no, no, no I'm, I'm going to give you what you want. I'm gonna be, I like to just be up underneath this one. I, I don't like to be. But, mm -mm, I'm not the one. I want to watch you enjoy in your solitude for a second, too. That's actually what's going to bring me in. I'm going to send you <laughs> like, a way so that you can have a good time without me. Please. It's okay. Please, Lord. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our girl Heather says, be prepared to attract all beings. I love that, right? Mm -hmm. the, I, we keep mm -hmm. talking about that kind of being ready, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and kind of sending out the message, I'm ready. Peace and joy are magnetic 
So be discerning. Uh, but let the worthy ones in. Multiply your joy by choosing the right relationships with the right people. This can go beyond this romantic this space. This is so beyond. This is so beyond. Look at who you choose to be in friendship with. Mm-hmm. Look at who you have in your squad, mm-hmm. in the your circle. The coworkers that you, that I'm you telling align you, the people yourself that you, with, the mentors you choose. I'm telling you that when you get to a season, I think this is um, particularly true of me right now, the season that I'm in with my grief and all of that, mm-hmm. I think has made everything just sharper and clearer. And I think it has made me evaluate all of my relationships and really like lean into those ones that are comforting and that bring me peace and joy and not with any shade, just setting free the ones that kind of were on the fence and Mm -hmm. didn't always feel good. I've now come to this season where I'm just kind of like, I'm okay with letting that go, which doesn't mean that I stop loving you or caring or whatever, but just from afar, like you don't get the access to me that these other relationships uh-huh. that that feel really good for me and comforting right now. That's that's just where I am. Mm-hmm. And I think you have to sit yeah. by yourself yeah. to get you to that to place. That. Or else just any smiling face, any phone call, we'll, any any let's go to the mall, any of that, you'll just have that door wide open. That's that desperation. Mm-hmm. That's that desperation. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then finally, Mark said... Two things that make you happy, whether alone or with someone else. Which Mark said this? Mac and cheese. Forever homecoming. Oh, okay. You're thinking of the other Mark. Because mm-hmm, I was like, that he lives his entire life that way. He is that way, though. <laughs> I was no, like, no, he oh, he that sure way. did say that. Yeah, no, no, he, <laughs> Our he, other friend Mark, when I tell you He'd just be showing up. <laughs> he just by himself I'm going to do the thing <laughs> I like. All the time. And I'm not going to do the thing yep, I don't that's, like. That's real good. And Buddy is all always... Down for the adventure too. Do you remember that time that he was driving? The lady, love him. Do you hear me? Maybe that thing is fine. (laughs) Shoot, I love him. (laughs) He, that thing is fine. He doesn't know it. That thing is so (laughs) cute. How he doesn't really know it. But when I tell you that he, most of us don't. He just. We had this conversation. Most of us don't. Oh God. (laughs) Anyway, I won't. most of us don't. <laughs> but really, he really, I, yeah. I, that's why I thought it was him. And I, but because he really does. Like he, he just, he gets up in the morning and decides, I, what does my joy lie yeah. in? He just does it. He just arrives. You're talking about somebody it. who enjoys, I think, the singlehood. It's because oh, he's yeah. just like, oh, I'm going to do what I like. <laughs> I'm gonna live my, I am going to live my best life. I'm going to mm. have joy every day. As soon as I, I don't have I've seen him out with a couple of different women and been like, okay. We may not see him again. That's fine. <laughs> mm. So <laughs> <laughs> that it. that is our Whether um, I'm alone or with someone else. I love it. Our topic for today. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, adding too. joy to adding just, joy just to being it. single. Don't, don't just be at home. Being... I'm miserable. Why? Mm-mm. How come? Mm-mm. You're in there with your best friend. You're in there with the person who laughs at all of your jokes. You're in the person who has the exact same food and music tastes. When you're by yourself, you should just del- go in. Think about we we spend a lot of time um, acquiescing. I have to argue with nobody. You know what I'm saying? We do watch. it. We're being agreeable because well, what do you want to have? Ooh. When you're by yourself, I want to go to like an all taco. But all right, let's the other go. person's gonna be like, I think that's great. That sounded. What, you don't what have to clear anything to with say. anybody. I let me tell you what I just envisioned was a a buffet. Where you make your own tacos, just all the toppings, just out there. Absolutely, absolutely. We need to, we need to make. And that's then a here restaurant. you go, just bringing somebody <laughs> else's. Like I want Chinese. I mean, not to say that you, you know, you got to make those things work. But I mean, you need yeah. these moments where you yeah. just go to the taco buffet and just at peace. Mm-hmm. You just up and go and just do, mm-hmm. yeah. People vacation alone. Now, again, these are big steps. A lot of people can't even you, you just start with get, even going to the bar. You know what I'm saying? But many of you all can't even go to the restaurant. Sit at the bar. So you don't be at the restaurant like, I ain't by myself. Some folks that need to work on how this is going to look, right? And work your way up to being like, child, I'm going to Jamaica. Me and me. <laughs> right? You might have to work to that point. But start with something. You know, really enjoy yourself. Yeah. Yes. All right. I 
everybody to take them from us.